Hello, I am Dr. Karthik Gunasekhar, uroandrologist, embryologist, and sexologist from the uh, Metro Mail Clinic in Chennai. I'm going to talk to you about uh, semen analysis and how to collect a semen sample. Uh, today's talk would be more about like how to collect a semen sample. You know that uh, semen analysis or semen testing is probably one of the most important aspects of uh, male infertility testing. Now you have to understand that uh, men are very very tense when they are asked to give a semen sample. So it's of utmost importance that uh, they are actually given a separate uh, room or enclosure where they could uh, collect the sample. And uh, Usually a wide mouth container from the lab, preferably from the andrology service, is a must. You have to make sure that the container is clean and it is devoid of all residual chemicals. The first thing that you need to notice on the container is that your name is properly labeled and if you do have a registration number for the hospital, that number also has to be labeled on the container to make sure that it is your sample only. Now, most people talk about a period of abstinence when they collect a semen sample. That period of abstinence is usually between two and seven days. Now you have to understand uh, a very important question that people ask is like, uh, is, is it like scientific? Why, why, why not less than two? Why not more than seven days? Uh, I personally think that it's more of, uh, you know, comparing apples to apples by that. I mean, if you are like doing a semen sample uh, in the United States and if you want to compare it to the sample taken here in Chennai, then if the period of abstinence is the same, then some variables may not change. The only variable that is bound to change with the uh, longer the duration or the shorter the duration would be the uh, volume. Like if you uh, collected frequently then the volume obviously is going to be less if you collect it over a long period then uh, then definitely the volume will be more but then the semen or the sperm motility uh, will be less because of stagnation so that being said uh, let's come back to the collection and uh, semen is usually collected by masturbation now you have to understand that uh, uh, it's not easy for a man to masturbate so uh, in, 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 a, in a close setting that is different from home. So it's important that the aid of pornographic material in terms of books or CDs are provided in the room. Sometimes the help of a partner uh, is made use of. And uh, when the sample is being collected, it's important to make sure or to ensure that uh, the first part of the semen uh, gets into the container because uh, this contains the maximum amount of sperm and if you lose this then the chances are the semen analysis may not be appropriate. Now if you cannot collect it uh, in the uh, uh, room for uh, various circumstances which I will be talking about later, um, you could actually bring the sample from home. Uh, the sample has to be collected and uh, kept in the container and held in your shirt pocket so that it's uh, close to body temperature and it should reach the office within about uh, two hours. Finally, understand that one semen analysis is never enough. So if you do get abnormal results on the first semen analysis, make sure that you do repeat it about like uh, three weeks apart because like you know that uh, semen uh, volume and characteristics keep changing because semen that is collected today is never the one that uh, got done yesterday because like semen sperm production typically takes about like 60 days uh, and transit takes about like uh, 10 to 15 days. Thanks for watching.